How you all doing guys? I'm MJ Haggis and this is episode 195 of my Let's Play of Snowrunner. We're still in the Tega and we're going to try and nip round for this last uh, load of cellulose. Hopefully I'll manage to squeeze it on the back. So if you've seen the last one, you'll see what we've been up to picking up these first four. We're just going to get this last one and get them all dropped off. Uh, I am not too sure of the best route. Do we try and go around the rocks? Oh, there's always something I seem to hit. What am I hitting now? I thought I'd put it in a good spot. Is it a tree? It is. It's that base of a tree that's in the ground. How rude. I don't even remember seeing that at the end of the last episode. Am I hitting another one? I am hitting another one. What's happened to all the trees that are supposed to despawn when you hit them like that? Okay, try and drive over that one. Are we, are we chopping something? Or is it... Oh, no, it is. I thought it was a current maybe getting a bit strong for the Tega there. Oh, no, we can't go around it. Look. Crash barrier. Great. Where's that go to? I wonder if we can still get around it and up the side between the rocks and the crash barrier. Let's open up the map and see what the script is. So how far would that crash barrier come up? I don't really want to come all the way down. Or we could and pop up with fuel, but I was hoping to get the fuel on the way south. Oh, let's keep going if we can. Oh, I can't even get moving now. Okay, winch point. That's crazy. It's so hard to gauge what is getting caught. Is it the trailer? Is it the truck? And it's just as well the take is quite powerful. That current is very strong as we know it will push you over. And when we squeeze between there, I think we... What are we stuck on now? I've got the... I have got the throttle wide open and it's just not moving. It's not the legs of the trailer catching on anything. Oh. And there it goes. How peculiar! Okay, that looks quite steep. Let's cut down and then we'll take a better angle straight up. We can. Ooh. Okay, I think we've got, we've got winch point on. No, that's not. He, he got, is really awesome. I'm trying to figure out if there was something, maybe. I don't know if it's these side bits that were catching on the ground. I can't quite be sure if there's a big hitbox on them. Anyway, a uh, oh, we're going up that way. How did this last? I presume you have to go back down to sea level somehow. Yes, we do. A nasty rock. See, that's the kind of one right there that will tip you over. So let's try not tip over. 
Again, am I hitting something that I just can't see? There's, there's a hitbox somewhere. Is it that one there? Could be. But you'd think the Tega had enough power to push it over. I mean, it's it's an angled uh, tow bar. Tow bar? Bumper? I don't know. Try. Eat. Right, let's winch, I think, is probably the next best option. Uh, this one, that tree. Low ratio. Oh, we're, we're kind of beached on that rock. Come on. There we go. Mm, nope, not quite. Try again. A bit more. Bit of a dilemma there, aren't we? Can't move forward because of the tree. We can't winch to the tree. There's the next winch point, anything? No. We'll try and pull the nose round a wee bit. Let's see if we can get some grip to pull forwards. That's not working either. Oh man. Okay, next option. Come on. There we go, kind of. Come on. Oop. Where are we off to? Oh, now we need to go way over there. How do we do that? I don't... That looks really deep. I'm guessing this is the way the devs intended you to go. We've still got to get back. Right, I've got an idea. This might epically fail. I'm going to get rid of the winch point. And I'm going to reverse back. No, no, not. That rock is tactically placed. How am I going to get over there without tipping over? See, it's getting close that it wants to try and tip over. Jack knife it around a wee bit if I can. Go on, go over that stone. There we go. Whoop. Oh, I need a winch point. Can that reach a tree? Yeah. I'll explain my cunning plan shortly. Because it might not work and then I'll look really stupid. Having just gone over that stone, I'm going back over it again. As long as it doesn't tip me over. Go straight back. We're over the stone. Well, say we're over stone, we're on the stone. Now I need to go. Yep, I need to go that way. Whoop. Whoop. Release the winch. We'll move forwards. We won't. Guys. Bear this in mind if you're doing this mission, you're going to get sent into some pretty nasty landscape. The 
As long as the trailer will stay, maybe not horizontal, but certainly quite flat, and you don't keep pulling on it, it might, it might go round, like so. Okay, the cunning plan is kind of working, because now I'm going to detach the trailer. <laughs> So we're running out of fuel. We can't waste this valuable fuel. Ooh, bit of lag there. And let's go for this thing and we'll pick it up. Forgot about that big stone. I do not want to get beached on it. What am I stuck on now? See, there's a... Oh, there is. There's some hitbox there you can't see. See? That's a... That's a glitch. If they're intending you to go this way, having a hitbox that's correct would be much better. Come on, pull me over. It's making me work for this. Come on. The idea is just to go and pick up the cellulose with the crane and just carry it back. Oh, really? What is it now? Okay, what's going on here? Again. Right. Ooh. I wonder if we could have come in this way that I'm not aware of. Anyway, let's pick up this stuff. Anchors. Probably don't even need the anchors. It's not heavy. I'm just watching the fuel disappear slowly but surely. Set it there. Yeah, I wonder if that would have been an easier way. Let's have a look at the map a second. So it's kind of suggesting you'd come all the way around there and ah, uh, I never even looked at that in the map. You probably come down here and around this way, not not the direct route. Yeah. But we need to get back. We need to get turned. Okay, let's go forwards and try it over here to get turned. This way. And tip me over now, nice and steady. Okay, forty three liters of fuel. Let's get this loaded. Wait to lift it. Okay, technically, that might work. Okay. 
probably backwards. Ooh, that's too far. See if it will pack and unpack. Yes. Okay. Let's get out of here before we properly run out of fuel. Again, I've got the foot to the floor metaphorically, and now it's going nowhere. I need the winch. This must be quite heavy, fully loaded. Go. If we just even get back to the main road, we'll need to send the fuel truck. I'm trying to see where that yellow arrow is, where the drop off point is. So maybe, yeah, you should have gone around that way, it would have been a quicker route back, and we can make it to the fuel. Yes. That was cutting a little bit too fine there. Oh, up, 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 up. Way too far. Refuel. And now, so if we had, let's get the map back to my north-south. It's a bit better. So you could have come back to there. Now the question is, would you have been able to continue around this shoreline to come back in and drop it off there? Don't know. Maybe one of you guys knows. Maybe none of you do. And we're about to drop off anyway. I think if that had probably been any other truck, fuel would have been an even greater issue earlier. That looks like we've got to... Oh, we've got to winch it onto that platform. Not winch, rain it. Come on. Again, I've literally got the foot to the floor. Now, it's like the even the highest of the low ratios hasn't got the strength to pull that. How are we going to do this now? Um, we were to maybe just squeeze it so we can get the truck in between them and we'll winch it from one straight across, that'll do. I need to unpack first of all, I always forget that bit, and detach. Ooh. Something like that. A anchor. We've got enough room. Yeah. Go. Cool. No. Okay. So that one at the edge there. a bit too far out. Let's try there. You 
could probably stack them too high and it'll accept it. One at the front. And just to test that theory, I'll put this one on top. Double stack these last ones. Like so. Let me store that properly. So let's do it this way. And how do we? How do we get into that box to get it dropped off? So I'm not seeing... Ah, there's card management. Two, three, four, and five. There we go. Cool. They're getting an awful lot of money, 5,200. So what's this, a big loss? Great, thank you. The card is a little wet, but it's okay. We'll dry it up. Yeah, because I'm not doing that for you. Sweet. So now we're on to the next one. We do time. Maybe we could get this next one started. Let's go over the top of the high bit there. It pulls away fine there, so maybe the weight of the, the cellulose of five slots was too much for it. It was unusual, I thought it had enough power. Hey, okay guys, we're not doing up the mountains as we have found out many times now. Stop cracking that. Now is it the mistakes of others? Five sec secure containers. Yes, that's the one. And it's got to go way up there. Ooh. That's going to be fun with that trailer. You could probably still get it up. Oh, I don't know. That's observatory. Up there. Cut through the trees. Is it here you cut through and then along the road? Mm, don't know. Okay, we're going to have to worry about that as and when we've got all five on the trailer. Okay, we are going to go to there and across now. Would you fancy that one, guys? Well, we did say it's the most logical one to do, one after the other, with the crane. Quickly top up with fuel again. I mean, that is what 60 odd litres almost. We reach from here. Oops. Thought it might just bounce off. Any headway? I'm not. 
Oh, maybe. I'm just wondering, is that... Should we go for that one first? Oh, I'm almost through it. Right, I'll have to keep going through the water. I'm not going to stop, just in case. I'm not actually sure why I picked that first um, procure container as the waypoint place. Let's get out of the water. Come on. There we go. Right, now we can double check. Save the fuel, engine off. Ah, right, okay, so that one, and then you come back to the road. You'd maybe pick that one up last. Go from there. Unless you could fight your way through those trees and round, oh, I don't know, maybe something like that. And then back to the shore and then we're heading down towards there. I think you could probably get across there, we'll check it out. We'll pick up that one. Back to the road. Oh, that wasn't what I was wanting. Oh, and that wasn't what I was wanting. I'm wanting another... There we go. Do that way. And then... Yeah, which way would we go back? There. 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 I'm going to have to guess there's a way through there. And we'll just carry on. Probably going to need fuel at that point, so somewhere up there. Okay. How's our time? Yikes. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call that an episode. You're going to come back to see this. Whoa, that's quite a route. Um, yeah. Please, come back. See if I can manage a second lot of five. I think it's going to be more difficult. Um... I don't know if there's any better ways, maybe bringing in a different rock or something different, but it'd be a shame not to finish what we started with the Tega. It's been a while since we've used it, other than the last two days. So, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you again soon. For now.